Hello children, how are you all? Hope all are fine and doing well. Welcome to the sixth module of our chapter, Force and Laws of Motion. We already learned about Newton's first law and second law of motion. Today, we are going to discuss about Newton's third law of motion and its applications. So, let's start our topic. Newton's third law of motion states that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The force exerted on an object by a second object may be taken as the action while the force exerted on the second object by the first object may be taken as the reaction. The action and reaction always occur in pair, but act on different object. Hence, these forces do not cancel each other even though they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Action and reaction forces may not produce acceleration of equal magnitudes because each force acts on a different object that may have a different mass. We know the equation of is equal to ma that is force is equal to mass into acceleration. From this equation, we can write acceleration equals force divided by m. That is, for the same amount of force, acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. If mass is large, acceleration will be less. And if mass is small, acceleration will be more. Now, we can discuss about some applications of Newton's third law of motion. First, we will discuss about recoil of a gun. It is an application of Newton's third law. Recoil of a gun means the backward motion of the gun while firing. This is happens when the shot is fired from a gun, the gas produced in the barrel exerts a force on the shot. That is the action. As a result of this action force, the shot moves forward with a greater velocity. The bullet at the same time exerts an equal force on the gun in the opposite direction. That is the reaction. Due to this, the gun moves backward. And this backward motion of the gun only we are calling as recoil of the gun. Next, we will discuss about rocket propulsion. Rocket propulsion is an application of Newton's third law of motion. A rocket consists of a combustion chamber in which the propellant or the fuel oxidizer mixture is burnt. The jet of hot gases are forced downwards through the nozzle. This is the action. The jet of gases exerts an equal force on the body of the rocket, pushing it forward. This is the reaction and it gives the rocket a forward acceleration. The only question you need to ask yourself while studying the third law is What happens when two objects interact with each other? What happens when you place an object on the table? The object exerts a force on the table and the subject exerts an upward force on the object. There are two forces that result from this interaction. A force on the table and a force on the object. The magnitudes of the two forces are the same but the directions are opposite. These forces are called as action and reaction forces. The force exerted by the object on the table was an action force and the force exerted by the table on the object is the reaction force. What we saw here is nothing but a display of the Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's how simple the third law is. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It means that when two objects interact, there is a force on each object. The magnitude of force on the first object equals the magnitude of force on the second one. And what about the direction? The direction of force on the first object is opposite to the direction of force on the second one. Let's talk about more examples. While a frog is swimming, it pushes the water back and the water pushes its body forward. Now let me ask you a question. Say a bird is flying upwards. Will the Newton's third law apply here? 
sometimes the third law is not so obvious. You'd probably say that the bird is the only object here and there's no second object. But that's not correct. The wings of the bird push the air downwards and the air pushes the bird upwards. Action and reaction forces make it possible for birds to fly. We take one last example to understand something very interesting about the third law. What happens when a gun is fired? You're right, it exerts a forward force on the bullet. And the bullet exerts an equal and opposite reaction force on the gun. And this exists in recoil of the gun. A perfect example of Newton's third law. But hold on. If the force exerted by the gun on the bullet is the same as the force exerted by the bullet on the gun, then why doesn't the gun recoil with the same acceleration as the bullet? The gun recoils, yes, but it doesn't recoil at the same acceleration as the bullet, right? Same magnitude of forces, but different accelerations. Why do you think this happens? Okay, so if your concept of the second law of motion was clear, you wouldn't really be surprised with this. The second law of motion says that the force is the product of the object's mass and acceleration. Or the acceleration of the object is equal to the force over its mass. What does this tell us? Yes, if the mass is more, then the acceleration will be less. In this example, the mass of the gun is much more than that of the bullet. Hence, the acceleration of the rifle is lesser than that of the bullet. If you're in a boat and step out of it onto the land, there are two forces involved. You pushing the boat behind and the boat pushing you forward. And that's why you see the boat go behind when you go forward. Now let's say a sailor jumps off a huge ship. The sailor does apply a force on the ship and the ship also applies a force on the sailor. But do you think the ship will accelerate as much as the sailor? Not really. And I think you know why. Demonstration of Newton's Third Law of Motion According to Newton's Third Law of Motion, to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Let us perform an activity to understand this law. Take a balloon and tie its mouth to a small piece of plastic tube with a narrow bore. Now inflate the balloon. Close the opening of the tube with your finger. Remove the finger and let the air escape. The balloon will move in a direction opposite to the direction in which the air escapes. Now fix the inflated balloon on the top of a toy car as shown here. Remove your finger to release air from the balloon. We observe that the car is moving in a direction opposite to the direction in which the air escapes. The car moves due to the reaction force exerted by the air on the balloon. This proves Newton's third law of motion. Click on the links provided for more illustrations of this law. Jet Planes and Rockets in a jet plane or in a rocket, the products of combustion in the form of smoke are ejected outward with great speed. These gases under pressure apply a reaction force on the rocket and the jet plane in the opposite direction. This reaction force pushes the jet plane and rocket forward. Lawn Sprinklers In a lawn sprinkler, when water comes out of the curved nozzles, the sprinkler experiences a backward force and starts rotating sprinkling water in all directions.